back to my channel. As we prepare for 2018, I decided I'm going to do a no spend January. And I let you guys know during Vlogmas this past month and I got an overwhelming response to document it and take you guys with me. I did a no spend back in the spring of 2016 and I actually titled it Paper Over Plastic for two reasons. Number one, I didn't know the term no spend insert month existed and two, I thought I was being super creative in calling it Paper Over Plastic, meaning spending cash over credit cards, so paper cash over plastic of credit cards. While I now know the term no spend, I think I'm still gonna call it in the videos paper over plastic. So this will technically be setting up and stuffing the envelopes for no spend January, AKA paper over plastic. <sighs> Longest title. Anyway, bottom line, after the Christmas and holiday season, I decided I wanted to start off the new year, getting my spending habits back on track and start healing my savings account struggle is real. If you yourself are also doing a no spend, let me know down below in the comments. If you like no spend months, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. And if you are planning on joining us, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell down below. I will be doing live streams every Saturday morning between 11 a.m. and noon. I'll let you know the specific time each and every week that we'll be going live. Each week we'll hold each other accountable. We'll talk about our wins, our losses, and just how we are doing in the no spend January. You guys want to talk some money? Let's talk some money. During the month of January, I will give myself $80 per week. 80, 20, 40, 60, Eighty dollars. And I have four envelopes, they're over here. I haven't labeled them yet, but they're going to be labeled gas, groceries, personal, and miscellaneous. And each of these envelopes will get $20 per week. Gas, groceries, personal, miscellaneous. And when that money is gone and spent, we are done spending for the week. There will be no touching of credit cards, no extra shopping sprees sticking to the budget. Now, just to clarify, I got asked a question during Vlogmas. Um, Kristen, if you're doing a no spend, how are you gonna pay your mortgage or any of your other fixed expenses? No spend months don't mean you don't pay those. You absolutely pay those. This is your extra money outside of your fixed expenses. So of course, I'm still gonna pay my electric bill, my mortgage, my other bills that come on a monthly basis. Those are gonna get paid as they normally would. I'm just gonna keep an eye on the things I spend after those fixed expenses, and that's where the envelopes come in. We're putting them in. Guess, groceries. I haven't decorated these yet. Personal and miscellaneous. I like having a miscellaneous just because you don't know is something going to come up each week. Of course you have your emergency fund, but I mean like if you go to the grocery store and you figure out there's something that you need for like work or social or family or something, you have this extra $20 cushion that can go into anything. For example, let's say I have to drive somewhere for work, it's gonna cost me more than $20. I can throw this extra 20 into that gas fund, or if I have to go to the grocery store to that grocery fund, or something else comes up in personal life, personal. Miscellaneous is kind of like the emergency fund of the no spend months. But now I have a question for you guys. For those that have done no spend months in the past, how do you count gift cards? For example, I'm not planning on going to Starbucks and spending any of my personal money, but I did get Starbucks gift cards. Do you allow the use of gift cards since it's essentially not cutting into your budget or touching your envelopes? I just wanna know, I'm kind of on the fence of whether or not I'm going to do it. I think because I'll be doing a diet butt in January, I'll probably just go to Starbucks once a week and just get like plain black coffee. But I wanted to know for those that have done it before, do you count gift cards towards your spending? Or do you just say, this money in the envelope is all that you're allowed to spend and nothing more? Or do you allow yourself to use the gift cards? Other fun facts just to note before we get started is I'm gonna do a little purge of my house and kind of sell things I don't use anymore. I've got some clothes that I wanna to try to sell before giving them away or donating them just to see if I can make a little bit of extra money to put towards my January bills. If you're planning on doing anything similar, like maybe picking up a side hustle or selling some things or working a little bit of overtime, let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know your weekly allowance, what your envelopes are, and your goals of doing a no-spend month if, again, you are joining me. And lastly, on the topic of spending, I did actually go back to Target and return a few things that I had purchased, not as gifts, just things I wanted around the house that I didn't really like once they got here, and I don't have shame if they aren't used, I'm not gonna use them, the tags are still on, they're still in perfectly new condition, I have no problem going to Target with a receipt and returning them. And taking an extra $100 off your credit card bill never hurt anyone. My goal and the reason that I am doing a no spend January, I would like to pay off 70% or more of my credit cards holiday bills. 
Now, just to clarify, because I know I'm gonna get this question in the future, I do have an emergency fund. Yes, I could pay this off right now, but I want to try no spend just to practice discipline, really see where my money is going, where I'm gonna spend it, and what I value. I just wanted to get that out there. I don't just go around recklessly spending and then pay credit card interest. That is not a thing that we do. Do have an emergency fund. I just wanna see if I don't have to use it. But once again, each and every Saturday, we will say at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be back here on this channel going live, discussing our wins, our losses, and everything that happened during the no spend weeks of January. I wish you guys the best of luck. Wish me luck as well. I will see you guys back here on Saturday for some live streams. If you like these kind of videos, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. And last fun fact, if you wanna see some real old school videos, I will link my last no spend playlist actually called Paper Over Plastic. We're talking old school videos, my last apartment with a pet rabbit. I will link it down below. I'll have the playlist down there if you wanna see some old school videos. That is all for this video. You guys have a fantastic new year. I'll see you back here in January of 2018. But wait, there's more. You guys did ask to see my stockpile, which is now fully stocked for 2018. I will share that in my very first live stream. I'll actually take the camera upstairs, show you guys my stockpile as it is, completely realistic, and we will discuss our first week of the 2018 No Spend January. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! No spending money. No, 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 no.